Welcome back to Good Day Dayton. Today, our friend Rodney Veal joining us in studio. He is with the team over at Wright State, getting you ready for their big arts gala that is coming up pretty, pretty soon. Rodney, how are you doing this morning? I am doing pretty great. It's my birthday, so it can't, can't be any worse than Well, what than a great day to enjoy your birthday. Yeah. With us here in the Good Day Dayton studio, like I said, we were talking about the Wright State Arts Gala. This is a big event that happens every year featuring so many great local community artists and those student artists. And we're going to get the details on all of that in just a second. So actually, Ronnie, why don't you lead us there? When and where is all this happening? So, okay, our art scale is happening April 1st at 7 p.m. It's at the Ray State Arts Creative Arts Center, which is on campus. Um, it is uh, going to be a full evening from 7 to 11 of performances, food, drink, uh, connecting with uh, community, it's going to be a good time. Like the key word you mentioned there is connecting with community because that's what this is really all about. It's Wright State showing off all the art that they have to the community. Maybe you can put that in your own words and tell me why that's a big deal. Well, it's a very big deal because as a, as a university, they have produced Tony Award winning, uh, Oscar winning, Emmy winning uh, artists and creators and nominees um, and so it's a place to cultivate the talent and creativity of people from our community who go out in the world and make an impact in the arts and that can't be any better of a thing to support. And of course eyes. a big part of this event is going to be a lot of performances. We're seeing video and people all dressed up from years past. Maybe you can uh, tell me what the, the vibe and the excitement of the event like this is like. Well, one of the great things is it's a dress up. I mean, people can come in in their finest attire and have a good time sampling art, which is really great because the students will be performing in all different ways. You're going to see music performances, musical theater performances, dance. You're going to see a live action painting that's going to happen in the space as well. There'll be a silent auction where you can bid on items that artists and community mem members have donated to the auction. And you could just kind of move all through the building and have a good time for, for uh, four hours. Okay, so like that. you said, you can move through the building and really, the key word there, sample different types of art, which I think is really fun. I want to dive into one thing you mentioned. There's going to be a live painting demo. What exactly does that mean? So what is going to happen is a couple of the visual arts students are going to be painting a live uh, portraits of a live model dressed in costumes from all of the theater productions that have occurred in the past year at Wright State. So you're going to see this happen in real time as you're having drinks and hors d'oeuvres. You can walk around and you can actually observe a painting being created in person. Tell me about your role in getting this event together and just uh, why this event or how long this event's been happening in the area. Well this event has been going since 2009. Um, it's a, a brainchild of the university to kind of help support scholarships for students who are pursuing careers in the arts. And so I've been a part of it for the last two years. I started off on the committee and have they've graciously allowed me to be a co-chair along with John Blunt and we've uh, kind of our role is to kind of help bring people in, give them ideas and thoughts on simple things like decoration and making sure we have chairs and what kind of food we're going to have. But ultimately, at the end of the day, making sure it's a good fun party. And a key thing you mentioned, it's a good fun party, but also some money is going to be raised mm -hmm. to help with scholarships for those students in the arts, which I think is really important. If there's anybody watching right now who says, this all sounds great, I want to come out, I want to sample the arts. What's that first step? What do they need to do if they want to be a part of this event? So the well, first thing they do is they go to the website for Wright State. You go to wright.edu backslash arts gala. There are tickets to go. There are different levels for tickets. And if those prices may be a little bit much for you, you could still donate and participate in the silent auction. Also, you can just make a donation at the price point, which you can, without having to attend, but you can still participate by helping the scholarship. There are lots of ways to get involved. Our man Rodney Veal was here with all those details. We have Appreciate you being here today. Thank you so much for your time. Everybody My stick pleasure. around. More of our shows coming up after this quick commercial break.